Good evening folks and I've got uh, a request tonight somebody wants to know how to set up a gram deck right basically basically there's your gram deck your mechanism you put it on your turntable I'm failing to see how difficult this actually is. Uh, somebody called Newton's meter by the way. Um, anyway. That's your controller. You put a battery in there. 9 volt battery. Which I've got a 9 volt battery. You have a switch here to switch it on either off. Playback. Record radio, record mic. Uh, these two wires that are coming out the side. Uh, this wire here goes to your head. Which is under there, it plugs into the top socket. Microphone which I haven't got plugs into the bottom. But I'll try and rig a mic up so we can do a recording. Right. The other wire goes, I've got it connected to my signal signal generator. My signal tracer. Um, to thread your tape, right? This is a three. This is a three and a half inch speed tape. So to thread your tape, you basically put your tape onto your gram deck mechanism. Onto onto your mechanism. You turn. You pull it through. And for pre-recorded tapes, I always go around this tape guide here. That way I don't run the risk of erasing the tape. But I'll, I'll explain that in a bit. Because this finger here, this is this turns on the erase head. But the erase head is a permanent magnet. Uh, pull that through there. Turn that round. There we go. Turn that round until we're through. And there we are. And that's your threaded. So it's a watching around there, around the back of there, down. Open that. Drop your tape down. Let that back close back on. And bring it round. This is your capstan here. Bring it round under and over the tape here, so that it feeds like it's like like an S. It's like an S shape. And then what you do, you press that, which engages your pinch roller. And then because we want to use forty five. You put on 45, and I'll hold that. Well, I can actually let it rest there. It should be all right. Turn the signal tracer up a little bit, and wait for the sound. Oh, that was why. Right. It's still no, no, why we're we getting no sound. Oh. We're about to turn the ground deck on, put it into play on the controller.
And that's you. lovely and if, if you have to adjust the pull piece you undo this nut here and oh hang on who is he i touch your hand and my arms grow strong tape drag because uh, the belt's a bit tight on this grand deck so we'll turn it off now to rewind your grand deck if you want you can either put you can either put the rewind weight on here and you can rewind by putting that in there and turn it hold it and turn it or you can do what I do you can do what I do and just let it play to get to the end because I need it to the other side of the tape anyway uh, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that because uh, we want to try and demonstrate recording. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that because I haven't got a radio. 
I haven't got anything I can record on. Um, so. So let's rewind this tape. And that's your ultra, that's your rewind. And then it snaps. What it actually is, it moves. That's it. There we go. That's it. Now it's ah, my finger. So you can show you the route for recording. That's come out again. Needs gluing in. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bend that. Needs gluing in properly, really, that because it broke and I have to replace that. But let's just see and push that down. There we go. It'll probably work its way back up again. Take myself Pacific tape off. All right. Put that away. Now where's the tape I had before? There it is. Now let's put this tape on. Now to thread a tape you're gonna record over. Is different. There we are. You bring it on the inside of the guide. I know the tape's dropped off there, that's no problem. Sort that out now. There we are. Now, take it round the same way. From here on in, the tape follows the same route. Take that weight off a minute. There we are. There we are. Now, if you want to erase the tape, you put the, the you put the erase finger so it's up here and it won't erase the tape. It keeps the tape away from it. Just 
just like you went if you went over that way. But if you want to erase the tape, which is what we want to do, then all you do, switch it on, and we'll go to the highest speed. Let's put the weight on. That's going to jiggle like fucking start vibrating. It does anyway, because the little pad's missing. I need to make some new pads for it, really. And that's recording. Now, if I find. And now it's recording radio. And that's recording from the mic. But uh, I don't have a mic, so. Well, I do actually, but I don't think it works. But we'll find out. Oh. Right. Right. The way that real shake. That's that's because the what do you call it's missing off the bottom of it. Right. One, two, three testicles. Testicles, one, two, one, two testicles. I'm just going to turn that off there. Right. Put that back into the playback position. Turn the signal tracer on, signal tracer back on because we're going to need that. Put the So what we'll do, we'll play it from there. See, I don't know whether that might works. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, I'm off. Ah. Fuck's sake. This fucking box was off, no wonder.
all the way up to 78 for maximum. Whoops. See, we've got this in front of that mic. I like the way it, I like the way it comically rocks them out on the turntable. It just jiggles about. We didn't get down from there, did we? Right. One, two testicles. One, two testicles. Have some at that time. Andy, you dopey bastard. The eraser is supposed to be. Well, that's right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two testicles. Testing one, two. Yeah, and all that fucking shite. So, what I'll do now, I'll lift that over. There we are. Now we're over over away from the race head. So all I do now is pull that fucking out. Pull 
right back onto there. now you see so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put that back over onto the eraser head now let's see if it does erase that's one way to find out isn't it put it back on play Now it's erasing. Now that's erasing with it that way. Right, well that sorted that problem out, hasn't it? So all I need to do next One, two, three, four, testing. Testing testicles, one, two. I've got big testicles. My testicles are massive. Right. So what we need to do next is on to playback. Turn it off there. So I'm going to let that there, there we go. Play. I came working. Right, so what I'm going to do next, let's put it on. Right, let's put it on, oh shit. Let's put it on erase. There we are. And what I'll do, I'll actually touch the input. Now, 
behind his back. touching the input so if I go back to there And that's how the gram deck works folks. Sorry I couldn't record anything but I've not got a radio set up or anything. I've not got anything set up in here that I can do it with. I'll have to rig some up actually and do another revisit but that's basically the principle anyway it's that mic doesn't work but uh, we know the input does. Uh, but that's it, that's all you need to know about the Andrew Merrifield Gram Deck. Um, you know, I haven't covered anything else that I haven't covered in the other video, to be honest. I mean, yeah. You know, I've not really done anything in, in this video. You know, I haven't really, so... With no difference to turn the signal tracer, signal generator, uh, tracer off. But, uh, but that's how you do it. You are, you put this here. Oops. Put that there. I don't know if you have to remember is when when that's there, and you put a pre-recorded tape in. You ain't gonna hear it. It's gonna get erased. And you put it there. If you don't want it to wipe your tape, it's as simple as that. And uh, you've got your, what do you call it there, your pressure spool, your pressure weight for your rewind. Uh, you've got your rewind handle. And you can play them on pretty, you can use them with pretty much any record player. I do recommend though, I do recommend that you use a record player with 78. That way this can run at, that way this can run at seven and a half inches per second, which is industry standard. And they do sound better uh, running at that speed, it has to be said. But that's what I would do. You know, uh, but uh, yeah, this uh, certainly did the justice, didn't it? It uh, uh, went through that signal tracer, no problem. Uh, it was a bit crappy on this record player, but you know. Uh, yeah. Oh well, I'm going to end it here folks. There's fuck all else I can do. Thanks for watching. More to come later. Bye for now. Oh don't forget if you feel inclined you can add a, you can make a donation at, uh, pa at Patreon uh, and I will also include my PayPal email so you can donate directly to there if you choose. You don't have to donate, you know, not compulsory. But every bit helps. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.